Skillet? Should we shoot Castro? Uh, the closest time they've been able to killing Castro was uh, one time they tried to poison his milkshake because Castro loved milkshakes and ice cream and anything that's dairy. And they tried to poison it with a pill. And so this is what happened. The CIA or pro FBI like uh, told a person who, w who was going to serve a milkshake to Fidel Castro to like um, put it in the milkshake. But before they could do that, they put it... The guy put it in the refrigerator, but like after like some few hours, he went back, but the pill was popped because it was so cold. So then he just like, and then the operation was canceled. That was the closest time they were able to kill in Castro. Yeah, how many, how many, how many people? And the CIA will FBI. Uh -huh. And. Hi, yes, and. Huh? Yes, and. Uh, I'm not out of, but I'm not sure. I don't know. But Fidel Castro himself said, if if we, if a surviving assassination attempts was a was a Olympic uh, game, he would get a uh, uh, thirty gold medals for it. That might be arrogance, but remember how he su he survived two hundred over two hundred assassination attempts by one of the most skilled agencies in the world and yet they're supposed to and these agencies are supposed to be called the most skilled زين انت هاي تؤمن انه الكلام اللي يقول انه هناك علاقه بين مقتل كندي وفضل كاسترو والاتحاد السوفيتي او لا اه يو مين يعني ذات الكوبا كيلد هيم لا uh, he might, uh, Castro, if he, even if he was an enemy, all he want, all he cared about was... Which enemy? Because he, uh, when, uh, because one, first of all, he's communist. The United States would do anything to murder, uh, uh, like, in Central America and South America, they were doing coups, giving d a brutal dictators power, because they were an anti-communist. Uh, they would kill, uh, and those dictators would suppress any communists. They did that all over South America. And so, like, in Cuba, uh, it was technically owned by the United States, kind of like Puerto Rico. Mm -hmm. So there was this dictator in power, and Fidel Castro and some Cubans thought they could, like, do a revolution, a communist revolution. And 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 he had his friend Che to help him. And uh, the up the. Givara, Che Givara. Yeah, Che, which in Spanish means something like bro. Uh -huh. Yeah. So and he, and he was the minister of money, and he w and he has to sign every dollar. And imagine the word bro on the dollar. That's. So every attempt to stop Fidel Castro, like in Cuba, by sending military support, failed miserably. I don't know why, but they just won. I guess because, like, Che had this reputation of attacking the soldiers in the middle of the night. But then Che, how much did he have? Did he CIA? Uh, no, I don't think so. So look. Yeah, but then I'll take the story. Okay. So. He would attack them in the night, and the people, the soldiers, would be like standing in the middle of the night, scared, watching, and each other. And so, yeah, and they won the revolution, and the dictator was killed by the United States just to make themselves like the good guys. Zian, mo timali kun al Ittihad al Sufati, wa mo mumkin kun al Ittihad al Sufati wa ra aqtiyal Kennedy. Uh. You mean he oh, killed can I Kennedy? Can I put yeah. for a little? Can I put for Baba? I don't think he cares because Putin said this once. We don't care about the presidents even if we uh, uh, alter the elections. Presidents come and go eventually. They don't stay. You don't stay there to learn them because they'll eventually change and go away. In few years' time, they'll be gone because they're
They're not going to stay in power for too long, the presidents. Yeah, I'm like, uh, America? Uh-huh. Yeah, mm. because they don't serve that long. They don't care because unless you're a dictator, you're going to have to learn and be friends with him because he's going to stay there for as long as possible. But a president, he, he, they come and go. They don't care. Even if they killed them, it doesn't matter. It doesn't change. It's what... It's what the that's actions it, it. of the generation passed on to each other is what change is the country. But in that time, in the 60s, it was the decisions do something. Like yeah. um, the missile crisis. There yeah. was a lot of tension. The assassinations in, in, in the 60s, it worked. So America do some, the Soviet do some. So. If that, uh, if an assassination like that could happen, wouldn't the uh, CIA be like, no? Like, aren't they like, uh, aren't they like, keep, they're, they, during the Cold the, War? The, the, yeah, yeah, who's behind? The killing? This, yeah. Uh, from what I've seen is that on the documents that I've heard of, like, what they say, um, I think, like, he was the sole killer and he acted alone. I think, yeah. He's, Fidel Castro lived a long life. Like, he just died, like, a, two, a, few, a year ago or something, and he smoked a lot of cigars during his lifetime. He had a lot of cigars. Okay. Shukran. He loved cows. Shukran. You're welcome.